I am posting this message as I sit at my son's gravesite right now today on his birthday, as most of you are where he passed away last year. And I wasn't planning on posting anything today, to be quite honest. I even took the day off from work. But as I've been sitting here, I've reflected on something my son shared with me before he passed away. He said, Mom, you need to continue doing your podcasting. He said, Mom, that's helping a lot of people. He said, even my friends are listening to it and like that, that's helping a lot of people. You need to keep doing that. And as I'm sitting here today, literally just feet away from, from him, I was compelled to just share a message with you all that it's time to start living. It's time that we start living our lives. We don't have time to be afraid. It's time that you start going all in on you, investing in you. So what you may have failed. So what something may not have worked out? So what you may be afraid and you're not sure how this is going to work or how that's going to work. Let me tell you guys something as I sit here. Once we have left this world, there is no more planning from the grave at all. And I've shared that before with you guys in other podcast episodes. There's no more planning. There's no more knowledge, no wisdom, no planning. There's nothing else done under the sun. I think uh, King Solomon talked about that quite a bit. I believe it was in the book of Ecclesiastes. But I want you guys to read James 4.14 so that you can be reminded that our life is just a mist. We are just a vapor. We are just here today and gone tomorrow. That's literally what the scriptures teach us. And I know it feels like we're going to be here forever because the days seem to go by slow. But I'm telling you all, in the blink of an eye, life is over for many, many people every single hour. In fact, probably every single minute. So at what point are you going to start living? At what point are you going to start living? At what point are you going to start going all in on you? Another year, another five years, another 10 years, another 20. We don't know what we have left. We don't know the time that's allotted for us. I'm just talking to you guys. This is not one of those one minute quick episodes, nor is it a full podcast episode. In fact, I I apologize for the audio sound because I'm on my little microphone from my, my phone. I'm not even in my podcast studio, but none of that even matters, to be quite honest. All that matters is that someone hears this message. And someone today stops being afraid of living. Stop being afraid of living. Being you. Going all in on you. God has given us so many gifts and talents. There's so much he's put in our heart to do. And we let days go by and sometimes weeks and months. And in many cases, we let years go by. You know, because we're afraid of messing up, afraid of what people will say, afraid of doing something wrong. Afraid of maybe having to adjust our living standards. You know, we don't have the money to to do all the things we need to do. Or um, just just afraid of just going all in on the talents and gifts that God has given us. And I'm just giving you all a message today. As I sit in the cemetery. Life is so short. And I pray to God that you take advantage of every opportunity that's been given to you. I pray I pray that you take advantage of every situation. And that you today decide that you are going to live while you are still above ground. Life is simply too short to do otherwise. It's too short to do otherwise. Some of you are in situations that you know need to change and you've been putting it off and putting it off. Life is too short. 
some of you are sitting on gifts and talents or a book or whatever it is, an idea, life is too short to let time just continue to pass you by. Because for whatever reason or another, there's fear, there's something there that's stopping you or holding you back. I just want to encourage you all to start living. And I'm sorry if I'm being so emotional today. Um, but I went on a long prayer walk before I, I came to my son's gravesite today because I knew that with today being his birthday, that this was just going to be one of those days where I'm going to really have to sit and meditate and pray and just, just, just be uh, and reflect, reflect on life. We all have these hills and mountains and, and valleys and things that we go through. But you guys, the reason I, I do these podcast episodes, is not that I don't have anything else to do. It really isn't. And if I can be very honest with you, I've probably lost a tremendous amount of money by doing this because I've taken so much time away from my staffing agency and other things that, that, I, sh that I could be doing. But my heart is, you know what? Life is short. None of the pain that I've been through is going to be wasted. I refuse to not allow my pain to be recycled and turned into gold. I've got to push through and put in, and push out what God is putting inside of me, you know, because somebody can benefit from this. A life can be changed from this. And I'm not the only one. Everyone has their stories and their situations. You guys get that? We all are afraid in some way or another. Please don't think that I'm not. You know, my book is coming out uh, soon. You, you guys know it's done, uh, been written. I'm literally just waiting on the editor to give me the the uh, my final copy back so I can just send it off to print and start recording the videos and and start my mentorship program. You think I'm not a little nervous about that? You know, can I really do this? What are people going to say while wow, this is my life? Can it really impact people? You know, how, how are people going to feel about this? Y you know, that, it, it, that kind of doubt gets into all of us. All of us. There, there's hardly any stars or, or famous singers or people that go on stage that says that they're, they're not afraid or scared or, or scared or nervous before they walk out on stage. I just heard some uh, speaker the other day. I can't remember his name. Major, major speaker that everyone knows. And he says to this day before he walks out on stage, he's, he, there, there's fear that tries to set in. But he pushes past it. Life is too short to do otherwise. And so what if you fail? Get back up again. It's okay. So what if somebody say something negative? It's okay. Be concerned when they're not saying nothing at all about you. You know, some of you are holding back because you're, you're in so much pain. You've been through so much in your life. God knows I can relate. When you read my book, you're going to find out so many more things about me that I'm not even able to speak about online. You, you know, we, we all go through it. Push through it. Life is too short to do otherwise. So I'm going to end this because I'm not trying to preach or yell at anybody. I'm sitting here. My, my eyes are swollen, of course, and I'm just crying my heart out as I'm literally sitting right next to my son's gravesite. And I just want to encourage you. I wasn't even going to post nothing today. I kid you not. But I'm sitting here and I'm remembering the words my son told me when he said, Mama, you got to keep doing this, Mom. All my friends listen to this. You, you really got to keep, please don't stop this. <laughs> he told me before he passed away, please don't stop. <laughs> it's so easy to let the pain stop us, you guys. And I may not know your story. I know we all go through some things. I know we do. It's so easy to let that pain stop you. And all I'm saying is don't let it stop you. Turn it into gold. Refine it. And this is one way of doing it, just as I'm doing right now, by picking up my phone and just putting on this little mic and talking into this microphone to encourage somebody of just one person today will make the decision that, you know what? Life is too short. I am going to start living. I'm going to go all in on me. I'm not going to do the same thing day in and day out, having the same results, being around the same people, not opening myself up to new knowledge, not learning new things, not trying new things, not not going in on my gifts, my talents, that idea, whatever it is God told me to do. I am not going to continue letting life just pass me by. If one person is impacted by this, just one, then it makes it um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Because I can't even think straight right now. Um, it makes this a purposeful post. I'll say it like that. This post is not done in vain. Anyway, I love you all. God knows I do. God knows I do. I pray so much for you all. I've not even met you. And sometimes it's as if I can feel what you're going through. I can't explain it, but I, I, I just can't explain it. Sometimes I can literally see a vision of your faces and feel what you're going through. And God just has me up in the middle of the night at times praying for you guys. You have no idea. But anyway, I love you. Thank you for the prayers. Um, I think that's it. I don't have anything else to say other than it's time to start living. I love you all. This is Z with Unlocking Greatness Podcast. Bye-bye.